So in this video, I'm gonna be doing the fuel water separator. I recommend doing a fuel water separator at least every- Once every two years. Or every spring. I like to do mine after the first tank I burn in the spring. That way any condensation over the winter that gets into the fuel tank gets ran through the filter and the water will sink into the bottom of the filter. So number one thing I guess is when you're taking it off, I put a, a plastic bag below the filter so when I pull it off, any fuel gets in the bag. You don't want fuel in the bottom of your boat. And then use some gas to lube up the seal here. Make sure the seal stays on the old filter. You don't want to double seal it. So if the seal is stuck onto the, the part where the filter goes on, there'll be two seals and it won't seal properly. So use gas to lube it up and then put it on. Should be a simple video. Let's get into it. Okay, the fuel separator, if you're looking at the motor on this 4.3 Merc Cruiser, is on the left lower side. So I put this bag here so I can catch any fuel that comes off. And I had to remove my bench. I have a different video. I'll leave a link at the end to remove the bench. Hopefully you don't have to. Okay, I got my fuel filter strap. It's a three quarters of three seven eighths. My sear, my Quicksilver filter is a 35 80 2893Q01. And you want to be very careful working with gas, obviously, because it is flammable. So. <clears throat> okay, now that I got it loose, I'm going to make sure my bag is ready to catch all this fuel. Cause it's gonna run. Smells like gas. Try not to drop it because it will spill. Gonna use the gas. Put that right there. And I'm gonna use the gas to put fuel on the seal here so it's slippery and I'm going to put this back on now sometimes you might want to fill the filter up with gas because right off the bat when you're trying to start it it will take a bit to fill that filter up There we go, got that good hand tight. Maybe use a wrench to put a little bit better on there. Now, as far as the old filter, I can already see that there's water in there from the top. I am going to show you guys and dump this into a gallon thing. We'll see how much water comes out. Okay, this is gonna be really hard to see because it's pretty much the same color, but let's see. Oh no, I spill them. God, like some of the top stuff just looked like water. You could see it like not mixing. And that's why you want to do it probably every year. It doesn't even like smell good, like good fuel. I guess gasoline does not smell like it used to smell anyways. But there you go, that's how you do it. This is the 35-802-893Q01. I'm gonna empty that all the way and dispose of it correctly. So easy thing to replace your fuel filter. On the 4.3 Merc Cruiser, I used a three and a quarter inch to three and seven eighths inch fuel filter strap. Very easy, just remember you're working with fuel. And you wanna be careful, no sparks, maybe unplug the battery actually. That's probably the best thing. So I'm done, I'm ready to go boating. Oil change done, fuel filter done. Lower end oil changed, inspection, I'm ready for the season. Thank you for watching, have a good day.